Well, it absolutely depends on the path that they get to the United States. If they're still stuck in the Ukraine, the options are very limited. It includes attempting to apply for visas. The most common route right now is a visitor visa, but that does include you being able to access a U.S. Embassy that's open to you, and for obvious reasons, the U.S. Embassy in the Ukraine right now is not open. The U.S. Embassies in the countries immediately outside of the Ukraine have been inundated, um, understandably so, with people attempting to apply for visitor visas, but then the burden shifts to the applicant to prove that they only want to come to the United States temporarily. And because these visas, excuse me, because these embassies are so inundated, the uh, wait for an interview to even make your case to say, hey, I want to come into the U.S. for temporary refuge is limited to um, not the immediate future, let me put it that way. We're talking weeks, if not months. Um, so that's one way. The other way is to get to an embassy that's further out or getting um, yourself on a plane and to a U.S. border where you would have the option of asking a customs agent to let you cross. And as you just discussed, that's not always an option, especially if you're coming in through the U.S.-Mexico border, where you've got ind individuals from all across the world, um, from that region, Central America to be exact, but also you've got um, refugees from other parts of the world that also go through the Mexico route and in hopes of hopefully being able to ask for asylum. And because of Title 42, we're seeing that that's not an option that's always available. And so we're not seeing any path, any clean, clear, open path that says, hey, Ukrainians come in, we've got you. That's just not the way that the laws are written right now.